Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Nenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Nenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashdenance.com to get the app. Do you have trust issue? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 17 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall continue from where we stopped in the last episode where we introduced atomic structure and bonding. This uh, topic is so big and so important that I've decided to dedicate 12 episodes to it, which means last episode and these two, we have 10 more episodes to go. I'm going to explain everything in details and examples and questions shall be given as the way you never had it before. Shapes of molecules. Shapes of molecules. We said that atoms exist as molecules and these molecules, they have different shapes. Molecule can be linear. A molecule can be trigonal planar. A molecule can have V-shape, bent or angular shape. A molecule can have trigonal pyramidal shape, a molecule can have tetrahedral shape. Now, H2O is a molecule of water because it's the smallest part of water that can exist on its own. That is molecule. HCl is a molecule. It's the smallest part of hydrogen chloride that can exist on its own. And when you dissolve hydrogen chloride in water, it will form hydrochloric acid. Which means, if I give you something like this, HCl, L, and I give you HCl, A cubes, A cube, they are different things entirely. This is a gas, and this is an acid. A cube means A cubes. It is dissolved in water, or it is in solution. And an acid, according to Arrhenius, is a substance, or any substance, which when dissolved in water, produces hydrogen ion as the only positive ion. And according to Bronsted and Lowry, acids are proton donors, while bases are proton acceptors. Now, if you look at H2O, it means we have two hydrogen and one oxygen. Oxygen is only one, hydrogen is two. It simply means that this oxygen, there will be this hydrogen, there will be around oxygen. Because oxygen has two electrons in the atomic shape. Oxygen is atomic number eight. Two in K shell, you are left with six. Since we need eight to complete the shell, two electrons are remaining, which means oxygen can have something like this double. In the double, one hydrogen takes one, the other hydrogen takes the other one. But what am I trying to bring out? You see, oxygen is the central atom. Anytime you see A in each of these places, it's referred to the central atom, the one in the middle. Then when you see S, they refer to the terminal atoms, the atoms that are hanging around. And anytime you see E, they are lone pair electrons. They are not paired. Now, look at this. A molecule can be linear, straight line. And examples of linear, linear molecule are oxygen molecule, or two under its oxygen molecule, not oxygen atom. This is hydrogen molecule, chlorine molecule, or molecule of chlorine, hydrogen chloride molecule, CO2 carbon 4 oxide molecule. These are linear molecules. Linear means straight line. And linear molecules can be in two forms. SAS or SS. SAS means A, we have a central atom, like as seen here. And S and S, we have the terminal atoms. Examples of linear molecules are oxygen molecule, hydrogen molecule, chlorine molecule, HCl, and CO2. CO2 can be represented in the form of SAS, which is 
carbon be the central atom, oxygen are around carbon. O2 can be in the form of SS, which is O and O. They will have to pair or whatever. H2, it can be in the form of SS. Linear means straight line. And the bond angle between linear molecule is 180 degrees. This is easy to understand because the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. And linear molecules, they form straight line. Molecules can also be in trigonal planar structure. You see the A, you see S, S, and S. So the central atom of the middle, the other ones, they exist in three different areas. So it's like this, like this, like this. The sum of angles in the circle is 360 degrees. Circle divided by 3, that is 360 degrees divided by 3, that is more than 20 degrees. So for trigonal planar, the bond angle is more than 20 degrees. Because here 120, here 120, here 120, everything forms 360. Trigonal means one at the middle and three around it. Boron fluoride BF3 and BCL3 are trigonal planar molecules. So for this, boron will be here. For F3, F1, F2, FF will be around it in three forms. B here, CL, CL, and CL in three places. Molecules can be bent, angular, or V-shaped. They all represent the same thing. So this is a bent molecule. A, S and S. Examples of bent molecules are H2O and SO2. And the bond angle between bent, bent molecules is 105 degrees. So in terms of structure, this is linear. This is trigonal. One here, three other moving around. This is bent. You see one here, one here on the central atom. Then you see two lone pairs around it. E and E, they are not elements. They are just lone pairs. Or you can say they are not paired. Trigonal pyramida. A major example of trigonal pyramidal molecule is ammonia, NH3. The bond angle in ammonia is 107 degrees. A, 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 A. And ammonia has one lone pair. So water and SO2, they have two lone pairs. Linear molecules, they don't have lone pair. Then tetrahedra is one at the central atom and four elements around it, or four terminal atoms around it. If you look like at CH4, methane or silicon chloride, SiCl4, you will see that here will be the carbon, and the four around it are hydrogen or methane. For silicon chloride, here is silicon, silicon tetrachloride. Here is silicon, chlorine, here, 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 and four. So one central atom, four other terminal atoms. The bond angle in tetrahedral molecule is more than 9.5 degrees. As you can see here, tetrahedral, four, one, and four others. So what is the summary? Molecules exist in different shapes. And the common ones that you should know are linear molecules, oxygen molecule, hydrogen molecule, Chlorine molecule, HCl, CO2, they are linear and the bond angle is more than 80 degrees. For trigonal planar molecules, BF3, BCL3, they are trigonal planar and the bond angle between them is more than 20 degrees. Water and SO2, that should be sulfur oxides, are bent. You can also say they are angular or you can say they are V shaped. And the bond angle between them is 105 degrees. Ammonia is trigonal pyramida and bond angle is 107 degrees. Methane is tetrahedra and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we shall start looking at atomic theories. See ya!